Hi everyone, we're going to be doing our first monthly favourites video. Okay, so my first beauty favourite this month is the Aloe Gentle Face Wash, and this is like a foaming face wash, it's really nice. Um, I did have a Benefit one before this, and it left my skin feeling a little bit rubbery afterwards. Um, and this is really nice, it leaves your skin really soft, and it really works as well to help keep my skin clear this month, so I like this. My first one is the Lancome by Facial, and as you can see, I'll put it a little bit closer, it's kind of got two tones to it. And luckily enough, I actually got this in a gift set where at my local department store where you buy two products and I got a whole gift set worth, I think it was about £112, which is really, really good. So anyway, I'll just show you it when it's shaken up. So it just looks like that. And I've tried so, so many different eye makeup removers and this is definitely the best. It's not too oily and it doesn't get too greasy around your eyes. It's just so nice and I've got really sensitive eyes anyway and I would recommend anyone using this. Obviously... I mean, I've not even used really sort of a quarter of it yet, and I use it every single day, so I know it's going to last me a long time, and I definitely, definitely recommend it. So that's been one of my beauty favourites this month. Now this month I took a little trip into Lush, and one of my favourite things that I found is the Bright Side Bubble Bar. I have used quite a lot of it, so that's why there's, it's a bit broken, but it's this gorgeous, like, orangey, marbly colour. And this it was really citrusy, amazing. and yeah, it smells really nice. It's tempting not to lick it, but um, it really foams the bath up really nicely and it makes it this amazing bright orange colour as well and I really love it and mm, there's a few other ones I want to try as well but I've been loving this this month. My next favourite is the Rimmel Match Perfection Foundation and my shade is 103 True Ivory and I know so many YouTubers and so many people on blogs are absolutely loving this and I just had to try it. I was very, very fortunate enough to buy it. I said to you, didn't I, yeah. when it was £5 in one of my local supermarkets and I was so happy because I was like, if I don't like it, it's not like I've wasted a lot of money and I just really like... It kind of looks nice and dewy on the skin and it's a really good shade for me and even when I get slightly more tanned I'd still use this but this is just such a good everyday foundation as I said because of the price. So even if you don't like it it's not like I said you've spent too much on a foundation but I just absolutely love it. This next thing is sort of a beauty favourite, it's for my hair and these are these uh, hair bands and they're just all elastic and they sort of double up as like, they look a bit better to have on your wrist than like normal black um, hair bands and I got these from H&M they're, they're really cool colours as well actually they look a bit like festival wristbands I got those and I also got these ones from H&M which are little, they're like scrunchies and they've got little wire bows in they've got one today which is like a floral one and I think they're, these are about 2 99 and these are 1.99 for a pack I think so I really love these this month Okay, so my next favourite is the HD Brow Professional Eye and Brow Palette, which looks a little bit like this. I've actually got this from my HD Brow Stylist. As you may have seen from one of our previous blog posts, I've actually written up about HD Brows and that I haven't done. So you can go check that out, I'll put the links below. Uh, this is one of the palettes I've actually got from my stylist. And the colours you get in it is Ash Brown, Warm Brown, Medium Brown carbon, rich brown and dark brown. They're really nice to use actually. I've got um, two of the colours on today, these two, on my eyes. Um, has obviously a massive mirror on it. But these are really good to fill in your eyebrows with and also to use as eyeshadows. And you also get a two-sided brush. I don't tend to use a smudger side but the other side's really nice for filling in your brows. And it's just a really lovely kit. I know that I've been using it all the time and that I will continue to use it until it's pretty much run out and I think they retail for about £25 but for all the colours you get in there. There's a lot in the pot as well. Yeah, it's exactly. quite big. Um, but yeah, they're just really good to double up as eyeshadows as well so I definitely recommend trying one of these. My last beauty favourite this month is the Remington Sapphire Curling Wand and this is the 32mm. I have got another curling wand but it's one of the ones that goes narrower towards one end and I really like this because it's really good for giving like big curls that you can like brush out into waves and things like that and um, yeah I really like it this is I think it's supposed to be about 28 99 from Argos but I got it on offer um, last month the month before I've only been really using it this month I think it was 21 99 so still quite cheap even at the normal price so yeah I really like this and you can change the heat settings and things and um, it comes with a heat mat and gloves as well to use it so you don't burn yourself so that is another favourite. My last beauty favourite is the Sure Maximum Protection in Deodorant. And now you're probably thinking, why the hell do you want to put a deodorant in favourites? But 
I don't think I've seen any other YouTuber put this up, and I'm not just saying this because you we've put used me this for ages, onto yeah. this. We've used this probably probably about nearly a year now. Probably more than um, that, yeah. But basically, I'm just going to show you the top of it. But it's like a cream. It's not. Um, yeah. It's not like a spray. Even like the Rollins, the Rollins are really really wet. This is more like a cream consistency. Yeah. I'll just show you it on the top. Um, and it just lasts. I wear this. All day, and I never have to top up. And like, I can smell this all day. Yeah, even if I have been to the, the gym and stuff. Long, yeah, and it's just I would never ever go back to spray deodorant or roll on no. because it's the best thing I've ever used. It retails for about five pounds, probably a bit dearer in um, some drugstores, but they last like about three months. Yeah, I've I think. had I've nearly had this for about two months, and I've yeah. got another one. But obviously, I do use it maybe twice a day if I go to the gym and shower, etc. But it smells so nice. They do dry really quickly, just be careful if you are in black clothes because if you're going to put a top on, sometimes you might get the little white marks, but definitely, definitely invest in one of these because yeah, you will never good. go back to normal deodorant. So my first non-beauty favourite are these mugs and I love them. Um, I drink quite a lot of tea. Um, I got these from TK Maxx and they're just really cute. It reminds me of like, I don't know, like the checkered table yeah. brush you get and they're really cute. And this one has got like... They're both China as well, and this one's just got little hearts on it, and they're just really nice. And I think they were three ninety nine each in TK Maxx, and it's nice in there because they don't have a lot of the same mugs, so like it's nice to have. Oh, I like I like having drinks, odd cups yeah. rather than mm -hmm. having like a set. So that's my mm -hmm. monthly favourite. My non beauty monthly favourite is this Yankee Candle in Stony Co. I think they last about fifteen hours if you burn them in that size in that size glass but the smell is amazing and it kind of reminds me of uh, to be honest I don't think this will be everyone's smell but it kind of smells of it's a little, I'd say like it is powdery it is a bit powdery like, like powdery, powdery, but like, kind of a bit beachy yeah, it sounds really nice. it's really really hard to describe the smell but I think it's kind of a love or hate smell but I always have these these are called the sampler size or the votives um, I should really get a jar and stop being so tight, but um, I just love getting the little ones because you get to mix and match yeah. all the kind of smells. It's hard to pick one smell that you like as well, so yeah. with the smaller ones, it's easier if you're not so sure on something, like mm. you can buy more of the smaller ones and just yeah. try them out, see what you like. But yeah, if you've if you've never tried Yankee Candles as well, these are the perfect size ones to try and they're my absolute favourite. My music favourite for this month is Duke Dumont's I Got You, it's one of those really summery songs that you hear on the radio, it sounds a bit like this. <laughs> And this is on one of my favourite Spotify playlists, um, which is called New Music. And I'll leave a link for that below and a couple of my other Spotify playlists as well. So you can check those out for my like other favourite songs for this month. My song favourite is a very, very old school album. And it's by Sierra. And it is the Goodies album. I kind of was just on Amazon um, about, yeah, over a month ago. And I just thought, oh, what CDs do I want to get? So I just thought, oh, I'll try this one. Because I know I love Goodies and One Two Step. And I just thought they had this one and her Evolution, which is her second album on there. And they're just really, kind of, really, kind of... Yeah. Like it's nice to drive to, like, other old yeah. school R&B songs. Yeah. I think they're nice to drive to, like, CDs. Try a bit of that. So for my uh, film and TV favourites, I haven't been to the cinema this month so I haven't really seen any other films like recently, um, but on TV at the moment I am loving The Walking Dead and Musketeers. The Musketeers Dead. is on on a Sunday on on BBC at 9 o'clock after Top Gear and I absolutely love it. And this series has got Luke Pasqualino in it who is in I think the second series of Skins um, so that's quite cool and yeah I really like both those programmes and The Walking Dead is getting really good now. So oh I love it. <laughs> I've just chosen two recent films that I've gone to see. One I went to see last night and one I went to see last week. The first one is Need for Speed and if you're like me I've never seen Breaking Bad before and then Aaron Paul just appeared on the screen and he is so good looking. Sorry to cringe all out, but literally, he's my wallpaper and everything now. He's just so, so lovely. And I know if you're not really into, like, racy kind of films, it's got a very, very good storyline to it. It's not just about the racing. So that is my first one. And the second one I went to see last night was Captain America. I really want to see this. I love Marvel I so much. I <laughs> went into a massive strop with my boyfriend who I went with, and I was like, I definitely don't want to see this film. The trailer looks rubbish. And I went to go and see it, and I must admit it was amazing because I've seen it before a couple of months ago, and I absolutely loved it, and I completely forgot that that was part of the Marvel sequence. So I went to see it, and I was really, really impressed. So if you 
get to go to a cinema anytime soon definitely go and check out them two films because they are absolutely amazing okay so i hope you enjoyed our monthly favorites we tried to do a little bit of a twist by adding obviously films and non-beauty related things so if you'd like to see more of that just give it a thumbs up and comment anything down below also um i will put links for the spotify playlist and yaz's blog post on the hd browsing link below as well so check those out and um, we're also on instagram and facebook as well so all of our links and everything will be down below and don't forget to subscribe and we'll see you next week bye, bye.